Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and today I'm going to be sharing my WW or Weight Watchers Aldi's favorites. When I very first moved closer to an Aldi's, I was like kind of intimidated to go in there because I was already on WW and I didn't know what they had that was, you know, that, that was gonna be Weight Watchers friendly. So I finally bit the bullet one day and went in and was pleasantly surprised by their variety. They don't have a ton of different kinds of um, items to pick and choose from, but they do have a lot of different items, if that makes sense. So I've just got some of my favorite items laid out here. I'm gonna go in no particular order. And my hope with this video is that you will visit Aldi and see that there are plenty of WW and even calorie friendly options there. So the first item on my list is the um, fresh salsa. This is the mild fresh cut salsa and you can have up to three tablespoons of this for zero points. After it gets to four tablespoons, you um, it goes up to one point. So this is delicious. I love to put this over um, like chicken, salmon. Um, I like to put it on nachos. Like if, if I make a... Um, eggs in the morning or like my egg substitute is it's really good it's got a ton of flavor and i can always find it over by like the specialty meats and specialty cheeses which in my aldi is in like the far back left corner my next item is going to be their fat-free refried beans i've never tried their full fat beans before but these fat-free refried beans they're so like creamy there's not a lot of like whole beans in them which i enjoy and i can really uh, get my kids to eat these because they are so smooth and have like that creamy texture and the flavor is so good better than anything i can find at any other grocery store definitely recommend these you can have the whole can for zero smart points delish the only ingredients in here are um Let's see, they have cooked beans, water, salt, onion powder, chili pepper, spice, and garlic powder. So they're seasoned so good and the flavor is just there. My next item is going to be their salsa con queso. This is the Casa Mamita. Um, they're like um, Mexican or Tex-Mex brand of foods. This is so delicious, so creamy. You can put this in a mini crock pot, put it out for um, like a get together or gathering. You can put it on your nachos or on a burrito. You can put it over um, like cooked steamed broccoli or roasted veggies. It's so good and it's not too spicy. My kids will eat this. It's This is the... Um, Oh, this is the medium one, so maybe it would be a, have a little bit too much of a kick for my kids, but they do like the mild one if you can find it there. This is, you can have three tablespoons for two smart points, which is plenty for a serving. My next item I don't have on hand. I tend to only pick things up from the store if I'm going to be using them for that week's meal plan. So I didn't need it this time, so it just kind of didn't make much sense for me to pick it up. But it is the, the Earth Grown, um, they're beefless crumbles. It is a vegan product and I believe that it does have soy in it and I will insert a picture right here of it. Um, you can have a full cup of it for two points and you can use this in place of anything that you would use ground beef for. So if you wanted to have like a burrito, if you, sometimes I like to add it to my spaghetti squash, like put it in with the sauce to have like a bolognese sauce. Um, yeah, anything that you would use uh, ground beef for. You can't form it into a patty. I know that they do have, um, the Earth Grown brand does have their own already formed patties. I don't know how many points they are and they also have meatballs that are really good. I've had those before and I'll put those on my spaghetti squash too, but the, the crumbles are so versatile and they're really nice to just keep in your freezer. I just didn't need any 
and I don't know the next time that I'll need it. But again, you can have a full cup for just two points, which is, that's a lot. The next item is going to be the, it's the Kirkwood Grilled Chicken Breast Strips, and these ones are almost gone. Um, they are um, just the Aldi brand of the, like the Tyson pre-cooked chicken strips. I prefer the flavor of these ones better, and I think that they cook a lot better in the microwave. Sometimes the Tyson ones can get like a little bit slimy in the microwave, but these ones, they're nice and like firm and, but still juicy. So definitely get these if you like to have pre-cooked chicken. I like to keep this on hand for like quick lunches and just to put it in a wrap or on a sandwich. And then you can flavor it however you want with whatever uh, dressing or sauce that you want. This is great to have on hand. This is chicken, so on the purple and blue plans, it's gonna be zero smart points. My next item is going to be a produce item, and it is the, um, this is the Simply Nature Organic Spring Mix. I don't like all spring mixes. Sometimes they have a certain kind of lettuce in there. I don't know if it's charred or what, but it is like so bitter and it just like ruins the taste of my salad for me. But this is so good. It's so mild. Uh, this has, um, it says a mix of baby lettuces, greens, and um, something that I can't pronounce. I'll put it up on the screen. But um, it's already washed, so you can just keep this in your fridge. Sometimes um, I will like put uh, open this up, put a layer of paper towels down on top of it, and then store it upside down. So that way the, um, the moisture from the lettuce goes into the paper towel instead of it just sitting into it, sitting in its own moisture and it makes it last longer. I just picked this one up from the store so I haven't done that yet. It's still sealed up, but um, this is great on sandwiches. Obviously you can make salads with it, but I just really like to have this on hand. I feel like it's a little bit more nutritious than um, just having like a head of iceberg lettuce in the fridge. So I always like to keep one of these on hand and it does last for, I've had mine for like three weeks before if you put the layer of paper towel on it and then store it upside down. Or you can take all the lettuce out and put it on the bottom, but I think it's just as easy to take the paper towel off of it before you use it. So obviously this is gonna be zero points on all the plans. It's just greens. My next item is the Organic Brew Doctor Kombucha. If you're into kombucha, this is so good. It's fairly low in sugar. This is the Superberry. I know that they have a ginger one, and I'm not sure what else they have, but the Superberry is so good. So in the whole jar, there's 12 grams of sugar and 60 calories. You can have the whole bottle for three smart points, or you can have half of it for two. So this is, it's really good if you're into kombucha, really good for your gut and a really good substitution if you don't drink alcohol, but you're like in a social situation where you wanna have something to sip on. It's fermented oolong tea, so it is gonna have some alcohol in it. So depending on the reason that you abstain from alcohol use, this is a great option if you're looking for something to sip on at a party or you know after a long day or something, it's really good for your gut health too. My next item, my whole house loves. My kids love these. It is the Friendly Farms um, Protein Greek Yogurt. This has 100 calories in this little container and it is two smart points. This is so good. It has 13 grams of protein if you like to keep track of your protein and five grams of sugar in the whole container. So I feel good about giving this to my kids. This is the vanilla. The yogurt itself is white. Um, they also have a mixed berry and the mixed berry it doesn't have any um, artificial colors in it if you um, like to pay attention to that kind of thing. Um, this is so good, it's so smooth, it doesn't have a bitter taste, it's so sweet and it's delicious. This is definitely a favorite and for two points, you can't beat it. It also doesn't have any artificial sweeteners in it, it doesn't have any aspartame, no, no sucralose. This is a great option. My next item is the Aldi Reduced Fat Feta Cheese. 
this is fairly inexpensive compared to picking it up like in the specialty cheese section at um, your regular grocery store. I think this was um, around $2 at my Aldi. You can have a quarter cup or 28 grams for two points. So this is great on top of salads, on top of fish, chicken, anything that you would want. You can grill a, grill a steak and put it on top with some onions and mushrooms. That would be delicious. And yeah, this is a definite staple in our cheese drawer. Next up is a snack option. This is the Elevation, um, which is their like protein and granola bar brand. Um, the Cranberry Almond granola bars. These have a coating of like white chocolate on the bottom and then white chocolate over it. Obviously there's like oats, I think almond. Oh yeah, obviously almonds. It's cranberry almond one. Dried cranberries. These are, I can show you how big they are. I think just this regular, the size of a regular granola bar. There's 10 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. In each bar there's 150 calories. So if you just need something to take on the go, this is a great snack option. Um, they are four points per bar. So if you pair this with um, like a mandarin orange or a banana, this is a great option. If you're in the uh, like in a hurry in the morning and need to run out of the house to get to work or a meeting or something, this is a great option. These are so good. It's like eating a candy bar. I've got one more item on my list that I don't have on hand, but it's going to be the stock cold brew coffee, and I will just put a picture of it up here. I have seen this in my regular grocery store as well, but I know that they sell it at Aldi. They always have, like even if they don't have the stock brand, they always have some sort of cold brew coffee. It's so good. I love putting their Friendly Farms French Vanilla Creamer in it, like just for like an afternoon pick-me-up. Sometimes I'll even have that um, pre-made cold brew coffee in the morning if I'm like rushing around and I don't have time to make a cup of coffee. I don't have time to make a cup of coffee. I'll just pour that really quick into a cup of ice and put my creamer in there. It's so good. It's even good black. I've got one more item to share with you today and that is the Aldi brand. This is the, again, the Simply Nature Organic. This is the non-GMO certified or non-GMO project verified unsweetened applesauce. I mostly use this for my kids, but um, the reason that I like this one specifically is because it's so inexpensive. I have my receipt here from the store. This whole big jar, which is 46 ounces or two pounds, 14 ounces of organic unsweetened applesauce is only $1.95. Sometimes I go to the specialty market near my house and if I get like a glass jar of unsweetened applesauce that's organic, it will run me like five or six dollars. But this whole, for a much smaller jar, this whole thing for $1.95 is such a good price. So I just wanted to throw this one in and um, to share it so that you knew that it was out there. This is zero points for a serving, which is a half a cup of applesauce. My kids love this one, and I like this one with some cinnamon sprinkled over top. And if it's still too tart for you, you can always put some stevia or some stevia drops in it as well, it's just for a yummy snack. So that is gonna be it for me today. This, this definitely isn't everything that I pick up from Aldi, but these are great options to have on hand, especially when you are counting for WW. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more from me. I'll see you next time, bye.